everybody. I hope you all got some and that they're really good. They were provided by insomnia cookies and some menus and flyers and things like that are in the back. Uh, so we are at Liberation. We are a long form improv comedy group, uh, which means that we will be telling some, some longer stories of random things that happened in a long time ago in a galaxy far away. Um, but everything you see here tonight is made up on the spot. And I'm telling you right now, we are at the mercy of you guys. We take suggestions, we take interviews, we take basically anything that you'll give to us, we'll take and use, and it'll be awesome. Um, so to practice that, I'm going to ask for a suggestion from you guys, just to get you kind of, kind of warmed up about everything, see how you feel. Um, so can I get a suggestion from this side of the room of a one-syllable boy's name? To Brad. Keep bringing it, keep bringing it. Come on. Cam. Yes, good, good, good job, guys. Okay, now can I get from this side of the room a one-syllable girl's name? Sue. Who's Tim? Good, good, good job, guys. Good, good, good. Awesome, I love it. Okay, stop, okay, stop. I've got it, I've got it. All right, so good job, you guys. You're gonna be a great audience, so hopefully we're going to match how awesome you guys are. So, to get us started, can I have a slow clap for the rest of my performers? Yes, loving it, bring it, bring it down. Sam. 
Yeah, go for it. Hello, sir. My name is. Uh, my favorite book is Green Eggs and Ham. A boom. A boom. Barney Rumble's son was. A boom. A boom. God wanted to sacrifice man. A boom. Yo, I fight Vietnam. I lost. All right, so now it's Ted, now it's Tim and Taylor, and so all of you get to be both of their posses at the same time. All right, so can we get a suggestion of a one-syllable guy's name? Oh. Rick Dick. Dick. Rick Dick. Dick. Oh. Rick Dick. All right, let's go with Rick. Rick. Okay. I started with Rick Dick. I had this friend, his name was Rick. Yes, I'm a redneck. I'm a Rick. I'm really ill. I'm really sick. A boom, boom. On the street corner, I'm turning. A boom, a boom, boom. I'm a detective. I'm a. Dick. a <laughs> the third little pig, he is. You guys are stupid. <laughs> And this year worked out really great because I just had a kid. Uh, thank you. Thank you, the three of you who think that's great. Um, and so when you have a kid, for those of you who don't know, anybody, a parent out there? I. Just like everybody else. She made it. Uh, she did. I helped. Um, so when you have a kid, you get to put that on your taxes and you get m more money. That's the, that's the end of it. Okay, um, my dad was born on January 1st, and so he wasn't, for some weird tax adult law reason that I don't know about, he wasn't allowed to be on part of my grandfather's tax return. And my, grandpa, my dad is like 55 now, and to this very day, my grandfather jokingly expects my dad to pay him the tax return that he would have gotten if he was born on January 2nd instead of January 1st. And it's a, it, it started out as a running joke, but now I don't think he's joking so much anymore. So it's... Well, Mr. and Mrs. Williams, it seems here that uh, you planned to have your son on December 31st, but had him a few minutes after midnight. So hospital's gonna have to keep the baby until you can afford to pay your back taxes. Sounds fair. Money. <laughs> right, it sounds fair. Well, Maybe he, he's kidding. Uh, no, this is completely serious. You owe $12,426.11. We'll just, just for a few days. Uh, it, we, we'll keep him as long as it takes. As long as it takes. $12,426. I, I, what about, what about, <laughs> what about the money we were saving for the baby? If you want, we could You gambled him, it away, We could you? put him to work in the hospital. You're gonna yeah. put our baby to work? Yeah. So, I'm, a, I'm a proud mother. <laughs> He's only zero years old and, and he already has a job. that weight in a hurry. I mean, House of Cards starts in like half an hour. We can still make it. Okay. I thought... Uh, just, uh, that's, just, that's just my massager. I, I hired him like... We... See, he Seems, uh... Know. Where do I sign? You know what? I, I do have to say, if you're spending money on massagers, then... Why can't you divert some of that towards the, the get the baby out of the hospital? Where do I box? sign? 
I mean, right, right there. Oh, right, right. Back there, and the initials there, and date. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so your baby is now working for Sacred Heart. See you at home, honey. And uh, thanks. Uh, I'll get the hell out of my office. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why my parents never came back for me. Aww. It's been 20 years now. Should it, shouldn't they have come back? I don't think they're coming back. No, I still believe. Every single day, I look out the window and I say, my parents are coming today. How do you know they're not dead? <laughs> I mean, it's a real possibility. Does that mean I'm going to be stuck here forever? Probably. Oh, no, this is awful. I can't. I hate mopping the floors of hospitals. It's, it's, it's the worst. Have you ever... So, Emily. I'm, yes. I'm the hospital doctor. Uh, <laughs> a psychiatrist. That's good. Yes. The hospital needs doctors. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. I'm the hospital. I'm the hospital slave. Oh. So you've been here yeah. how long? Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years. And uh, you uh, did you talk to your friends about this? How do you feel? Well, the only person I really talked to was was was. Um, Massagist. The only person I talked to was my friend Penelope, and Show me she. That. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're dead. Oh, but Show Penelope! <laughs> oh, yes. So, the only person I really talked to was my friend Penelope, but I don't uh. think she was really listening because she was kind of. She was just like smoking a cigarette or something, and she. she kind of callous about what I uh, said to you the other day, and I did some research. I think, I think I may have a lead on Really? It. On my parents? Yeah. Or more friends? Well, I think I might have found <laughs> your baby brother. I have a brother. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> That's just the... I must go to him! All right, so, uh, Mr. Stark, we have to go over your, uh... Your job review here? You left a kid on the street. Uh, no, I put him to work in a hospital. Uh, that, he, he was Very different. Just, he's a productive member of society now. Uh, well, you see, there's a couple things wrong with this. One, you left him on the floor, and two, he hasn't paid his taxes. What's now, cleaner than a hospital floor? Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying anything about the floor, but your employee hasn't filled out his W-4. Now, that's a big problem that's, in that's this not, country. He's, he's not a dependent. He's working. Well, he's still an employee. You see, things have been kind of rewritten. Um, he can't rewrite tax code. In Amala. I tell you, I deal with people like this all the time. Uh, they never read the fine lines of things, and that's how I make a lot of money. You see, this poor sap here, man, I've got him for over $3 million. He hasn't realized any of it yet, though. So let's see how this goes. So, um, as I was saying, I mean, you've signed this yourself, right? I mean, I you might want to... Well, get this a little closer there. And, yeah, my uh, cursive isn't that good. I don't recognize it. Well, it's your signature. All and, right. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Yep. Yeah, and, uh, well, I'm just going to be uh, frank with you, uh, Mr. Stork. You owe us a lot of money. You're possible in doing too well. All your dependents, uh, they might become our property. You know what? Did I just say to that? <laughs> Stork. Buddy. You gave them three million dollars in babies. <laughs> I get that. Market, it's a baby down. market. It's a bear market. It's going down. I get it. The baby market. It's 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 got. It's like no no. It doesn't got anything. That, I know. I'm the stork. Baby <laughs> options are out. <laughs> Listen, stork. Last week I had fifty mothers down there not getting their babies. What are you doing with those babies, Stork? I, I, every night I put them in your hanky, and you're supposed to fly them down to Earth. They're not making it. What, what are you doing with those why babies? Do you, why do you assume it's me? It's because I'm a bird? It's because you got that big baby-shaped bill. That's perfect for holding babies. Open your mouth. No. Open it. No. Open it. Ah, ah, there's a 
baby in there. No, there's not. No, there's there's, 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 there's my, a baby. It's my there's baby. baby. It's my baby. found it. It's my baby. <laughs> that sounds like a human baby, Stork. <laughs> Your baby sound like quack, quack. <laughs> Something. Something, you but that's human baby. You don't know anything about Stork. <laughs> no, no, um. Mr. Stork, have a seat. Yes, thank you. I'm the hospital doctor. And the only one? Yes. We can't afford any more because we lost $3 million. Thank you. So the thing is that we, we think you have a problem. You've been storing too many babies in your mouth. Too many? I, I can fit eight. one. That's it. One's too many. You, you know what they say. That's what I was bred for. What else am I supposed to do? Oscar winning moment. I'll leave the room. <laughs> When I was a little storkling, Papa Stork came up to me and said, You're nothing. You're never going to carry any babies. And I said, All right. But I proved him wrong today. I mean, over the past several years. My dad said the same thing to me. Come here, Mr. Stork. What, are you a stork? No, what? You're a person. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> anything. I, it seems that I have a long lost baby brother. My strange random friend. Wait, like he's a baby now or he's a baby? Yes, there he is. I can hear him. We're, we're in a hospital. Yes. That's ex he's here. No, I know it. No, that's. Stork, will you help me? You want, you want that baby? I want my baby brother. You want that baby? I want a family. You, do you want that baby? It's yes. easy. All right. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Forgot you something. <laughs> Didn't we have a pizza <laughs> last week? Yes. Yeah, the pizza's still in the oven. I love that pizza, boy. Oh no! <laughs> so, I found out that your brother. Yeah. Works in the kitchen, the hospital kitchen, with those creepy old. Cooks. Is he a slave too? Yeah. <coughs> He's been here the whole time! Do you want me to bring him to you? Inner monologue. I have a family now! This changes everything! Does he look like me? Does he look like my dad? This. I just don't even know what to do. What if I've met him before? And we didn't know that we were siblings! Show me that! Hey, clean that spill up. Yeah, I'll oh, work on it. I gotta cook that pasta. Oh, God, that I got it, I got it right. Pour it, pour it. Go back. There is something. Blech. There's the baby. My brother! What? <laughs> you said you wanted that crying baby, I got you the baby. Hey, clean that mess up. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're, uh, I, I... Wait, come right. back! You said you were... Who's gonna pay for this baby? Not me. Mr. Baby, I'm the hospital doctor. <laughs> See? See? See?
And we have the two towers. <laughs> so, two towers. Okay, so, two towers. Yeah, yeah, two towers. Can I put Trumpa's letters? No. Silent house. Okay, goodbye, Planet no. Almost kind of. Playground. I was so confused. What do you want from me? Just kidding. Okay, so can I get Mallory and Mohammed up here, please? Choose! Ladies first, Mohammed. God damn it. Ladies first. Yeah, here you go. Two towers. Use it wisely. See that on the map. <sighs> this Walmart is so big. I hate it. You know what? All oh, that heard that sound trembled. <laughs> I heard it. I don't know what was happening in the other aisle. Uh, you know what? The king stays or comes at his own will, and I am the king. Why do you keep calling yourself the king? It's not like. Two saps, Jack and Joe, drive toward each other at 60 to 30 miles per hour. <laughs> I, I don't need your math. I am royalty. You're always trying to, like, shove my ideas, man. And I don't like it. It's like, get to work, Calvin. <laughs> Please, Treebeard. <laughs> I will get to work when I feel like it. You know, you can't push me around. Mom's not here. You're in the cart. <laughs> Why so? Because you walked in. Fine. I mean, actually, I'm visualizing you in traction. How do we do these, okay? Okay, if I help you, Will you finally give me my iPod back? Probably not. I mean, I really like it. It's got my germs all over it. <laughs> but we really need to think about the peanut butter now. Because we need the peanut butter. Okay, I will come. Let's go. <laughs> 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 petrol or diesel. I come over now if you want. Uh, what's the address? What the fuck would I want squirrel food or pants for? <laughs> I don't know. Get some bird food and about ten aisles back. You should get peanut butter like us because there's only one Ask thing you those can do. Or diesel. It's not that, that hard of a question. But you put the you put the bird seed on the peanut butter and then. Do you want me to make the delivery or not? Okay. Yeah, I do want you to make the delivery. If a woman had sex with a gorilla, getting pregnant and giving birth, we'd be able to see what man's early ancestors really looked like and include actual photographs and scientific volumes dealing with Neanderthal man. No, sir. Do you think my math is bad? Spiff is, a, is soon so to who, find who's out. Who's in charge here? Me. I am the king. <laughs> you need to stop calling yourself that. It's really rude. No problem. I wasn't doing much today. Mom's so lazy. Well, if, I, if there was one message I would like to give the kids of today, it would be to not do drugs. Mom's really getting on my nerves. I feel the air is stuffy. Shouldn't have done all those drugs. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> if we jump in the car, you can zoom Do up. not email me again. <laughs> I have done it. I'm leaving. No harm. You two can figure out whatever the heck you're doing, but I'm leaving. Okay, bye. Please, Tree Beard. <laughs> Let me talk to Mom. Dear Mike. Yes, Mom? Is this acceptable to you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice, Master. I'm really disappointed in you. Number three. Hi, I'm number two. I know a lot of people. And vice. 
Dangerous ground, loser. Ha, you're not the king anymore. You're a loser. You called me a loser? Mm -hmm. Then Shadowfax has found his way alone from far north. <laughs> Shadowfax is much better than that freaking car you have. Don't you insult my car. Add biscuits to eat on the trip to the list. <laughs> okay. We're five nights party. ago. I ate this biscuits any five nights ago. <laughs> I can't have biscuits every damn day. You'll eat it because they're good for you. I don't like biscuits. I really don't. He doesn't like biscuits. I think you're out I have no idea what your point is. I'll speak to the principal about the ban, but you have to understand that the only government approved software is allowed on the computers, and Sab knew this rule. Precious will be angry. <laughs> so long, duplicates. <laughs> Goodbye, planet Earth. Scene! <laughs> He's gonna play with us now. Uh, next, we're gonna play a game called Good Advice, Bad Advice, Worst Advice. Woo! And this is a game to help you guys out. I mean, we all got problems, right? We're all people. We've all got shit going on. Yeah. Um, so, can I get Taylor and Tim out here, please? Hi, Tim. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Taylor. Okay. What's up? So, this is a game where we rotate, so try to follow along. When you're in this, when we're, when one of us is in this spot, we're gonna give you good advice. When one of us is in this spot, we're gonna give you bad advice. And when one of us is in that spot, we're gonna give you the worst advice. So, can I get a problem that you guys are having? What's up? Talk to me. Trying to get over an X. So how trying to get over an X. How to do that? It's a big question. Let's try to solve it. All right. So you're trying to get over an X, and first of all, that really sucks, and I'm really sorry. But the best way to do it is to just try to keep yourself busy, try to get out there, try new things, meet new people, just, you know, focus on you and make yourself happy first. I think it depends on the size of the X. <laughs> I mean, normal size, just step over it. Gulliver size, you're going to need like ladders and picks and stuff, so good luck. <laughs> Eat them? <laughs> <laughs> All right, swap. <laughs> All right, can I get another problem? Uh, the guy that's been waving at me since I first asked the question. Hi, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, my friend Pugwash is uh, trying to buy from uh, his arch nemesis, Prime Master Mo. And well, uh, and see, the thing is, like, he hid in the cave, but then Prime Master Mo found him. I asked he for a problem, game. not a story. Yeah, but, but is there any place that uh, Pugwash can hide for uh, that? Prime Master Bo won't find Okay, you know, so... I'm, I'm gonna say, first off, judging on the names of these people, you hang out with a really dangerous crowd, so I would you know, <laughs> take a step back, examine where you are in your life, and if you still want to help them, uh, I would, like, hide at home. In, like a closet or something. I think Pugwash can come <laughs> hide under my bed. I mean, he sounds really nice and really <laughs> cute, and I, I don't want him to have an arch nemesis, like, that sucks, so he can come, you know, chill with me, and we can... To hide from the world together. Eat him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's switch. <laughs> okay, one more problem. One more problem. Um, um, let's get someone from the very back. Uh, Yell at me, please. I, ha I have to go to the bathroom. You have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, it's just down the stairs and to the left. Yeah. What up, good advice? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Down the stairs and <laughs> to the left. You can also go up the stairs to the left. <laughs> Find an empty room here. There's lots of rooms. Now the building. You can attach a bottle to your ankle, and then you'll never have to leave in the middle of our show to go to the bathroom ever again. And then after that, you can. <laughs> 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 and that's good advice. Bad advice. Worst advice. So now we're going to do another long form, and if you notice in the long form before this, we used a couple different calls. One of them was called Oscar winning moment, and in that one we got ultra emotional and really dramatic, and so when you have
have this paddle, and I encourage you to pass it around. You're going to hold it up and yell Oscar winning moment really loud so we can hear you, okay? We're gonna throw that one that way. Um, another one that you heard was called inner monologue. So when a character is thinking something and you wanna hear what they're thinking, you're gonna hold this up and yell so we can hear you. Inner monologue, ready? Go on. Good catch. All right, my personal favorite is called show me that. And if there's something you want us to show you, then you can ask us and we'll say show me that. That was a terrible throw. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay, so that's a thing. Another thing, to get us started, instead of a suggestion and a monologue, I get to interview one of you guys. Aren't you excited? Yeah. So who, wants me? who wants to talk to me? Who wants to talk to me? Anybody? Um, uh, let's pick someone interesting looking. Um, 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 there's a guy at the very, very back who's kind of large and wearing a striped sweater. No, you're just taller than everybody else. You're just taller than everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on up here. Come on up. Do you want to see it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, so where are you from, Brian, with an I? Indianapolis, with an I. You're from Indianapolis with an I. Is that why your parents could name you Brian with an I? Because you're <laughs> That from is exactly the reason. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> okay, so, so what do you do here at Purdue? Like, what are you involved in? What are your, you know, favorite stuff to do? I'm in the band. You're in the band. Wow. Yeah, hey, got some band lovers here. What do you play in the band? Trombone. You play trombone. Which band? <laughs> Which, what? which band? I mean, like, marching band is like spoiler Oh, yeah. Do well, you play for the basketball games, or do you march, or do you do all of it? Because that's uh, a lot of time commitment. Fall right. semester marching band, uh -huh. spring semester jazz band. Excellent. Jazz band. Yeah. Have you been listening to jazz music for a long time? No. Like, oh. <laughs> I thought that you had to be, like, a fan of jazz music to play jazz. I don't know. Okay, so you're involved with the band. Is that, like, the only thing you're involved in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of offended. Right no, I didn't mean to offend you. I was just like, what else? What else do you do? Like, well, I'm a student study? here. You're a student. Yes. Yeah. Duh. Okay. What's your major? What? Um, What's your major? Biochemistry. Mohammed, I was just about to ask that. I'm sorry. What's your major, loser? <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to him. You're the one. Be nice to him. Brian, I'm really sorry. I apologize. You're so mean to me. I'm sorry. Okay, so your major is biochemistry. What do you want to do with that? Like, do you want to work for a chemical company? Do you want to I don't know. change science or okay. something? I don't know. You don't know? Don't know. All right, yeah, a lot of people feel that way, you know? The great, the great void. <laughs> Just going downhill. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> Would you like to give it in a monologue or do you want me to do it? You. Okay. <laughs> this is going really poorly. <laughs> I, th I thought that I was good at talking to people and so I was like, I'll interview him, it'll be great. But now I just feel really awful and I also think I've met this guy before but I don't remember from where. <laughs> How's, how's it going? I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Jason. not Sammy. Um, so, were you involved when you first came to Purdue? Did you do uh, BGR? No, no, I was in the marching band. Oh, we okay. don't do BGR. <laughs> uh, dude, covered this already. Jason, not know. It's all right, dude. No, it's all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Just informing you. He's my friend. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, obviously, biochem is your major, but. If you had to pick a class besides biochemistry, what would you most be interested in? You know, math, English, um, uh, 
History. History? Yep. I actually agree with you. I'm a giant, well, war kind of buff, you know, study, <laughs> fighting and stuff. I know I'm a violent person. <laughs> Sheesh. Who isn't? Yeah, right? <laughs> These people, I tell you. But yeah, um, I'm a Sammy person. Yeah. Doesn't know me. No. <laughs> so, your first interview, how did you like that? That was, it was kind of a brutal thing. It's, it started out good and it just, yeah. It's, it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> It's, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, so, uh, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Brian! Oh, hey, Sammy. Brian! Brian! My friend! Tell me where I've met you before. I know your brother. You know my brother! Okay! We ate lunch We're, together one day. We did have lunch together one day. I was at his 21st Show birthday party. You and. Oh, okay. We're gonna be at lunch together now. <laughs> my brother! Oh, hey. Hi! How do you So this is your sister. <laughs> hey, Brian! My sister! Hey. Thank you! Thank you, Brian! Thank you! Oh, okay. we're done? The probing questions are done. Is there anything you want to ask, Brian? I think we've covered it. We've covered the color! We've covered What's your everything! What's favorite color, Brian? It's my favorite color, black. Did you spell it with an A or a Y? Oh, uh, an A? <laughs> I'm gonna ask more. A lot of people out there are thinking, are you single? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Ad Liberation. I'm the president, Jason. Um, I have to warn you though, we have a member and you have to be very careful. She has like fangs if you get too close to her. Uh-oh. Now. <laughs> oh God. Uh, this is who I was talking about. Uh, Sorry. Uh, this is Tim. Mm -hmm. Tim, say hi. Oh. He's new. Okay. You're so stupid. Tim, oh, hold on, hold on. We, he's not gone yet. Tim is spelled with an I, oh. not a Y. Oh, yes. I, I spell my name with an I too. My name's Brian. He's <laughs> so short. I can fix that. I no, guess. no, it's okay, it's okay. Now, uh, Tim, or my, Brian, Brian. Uh, my parents. They made fun of me because I was short. You deserved it. My girlfriend made fun of me because I was short. You deserved that too! Tim, you gotta let the kid breathe. He's new. I try to stretch myself every day! You're gonna get eaten alive. Don't listen to him. And I'm gonna eat you alive. I I would I wouldn't taste very well though. Uh, welcome class to History 249, History of Wars. I'm Professor McGillicuddy. I teach History of War because uh, I'm a very violent person. Uh, I've assaulted several people, and war just appeals to me. Oh, hey, teach. Eat shit! <laughs> uh, uh, that one. Yeah, you. Oh, I was. I, oh, I just. Alright, man, you lost it. <laughs> How did you get to be such a giant? Eating vegetables. Middle. I don't have a chair. Too bad. Alright, back to you. I don't have a. How did you get to be a giant? I've never care. seen such a giant history buff. Hey, Teach. I'm late. Professor McGillicuddy. Yeah, what's up? Hi. hi. I'm, I'm Brian. Alright. And I, I spell my name with an I. All right. And people make fun of me because I'm not no. huge. All right. No, they don't, Brian. They make fun of you because you're short. <laughs> that guy seemed popular. <laughs> huge. Okay. Get, get huge then. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> can you can you at least teach me your ways? He's this so professor. short. <laughs> I no, no. Did you get the notes from history? Class? I took them <laughs> with my okay. iPad. Okay, can I can I get the because that guy is so huge, I was just so distracted, I couldn't write anything down. Y yeah, but here's the thing. He was with his big huge hands, he took my iPad and he what? said What? In one of his rage fits. <laughs> he <laughs> Morning so class. Ah! <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Dad? And I was at the store earlier, and he's like, "Do you want to buy the insurance?" 
And I said, no. Always by me and shut I it. didn't I'm know. Would, you, would any of you mind switching like chairs with me? Because I'm sore. You have to earn the chair. Mail or just get there on time. Yeah, I got there. And there was an open seat, and you were sitting like this for some reason. <laughs> so I sat down. Do you have the, the notes? Open chair. Do you have the notes? Yes. Are they good? Yes. Can I borrow? I'll let can you sit. If I can have a I'll chair. Can I have your iPad? <laughs> I'll give you the notes if I get both chairs. I just you want both chairs. <laughs> Hi, uh, Brian. Have a seat here. Thank I've. You. Er, I'm the school guidance counselor. Uh, I, I hear you've been having a lot of problems, so uh, just tell me a little bit about yourself. He's short. <laughs> Thank you. His parents hate him. Uh, this interview is going, I hate him. This interview is going incredibly well. Your friends are doing it for you. I'm not sure. I imagine he has a small penis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was my next question. On an unrelated note, he looks delicious. So, uh, after your friends filled in all that information for you, what's your major? It has nothing to do with his penis. <laughs> what do you plan on going to school for, Brian? I don't know. Chemistry? I don't know. That's dumb. Get a model of Brian! If only I had a dream. I would show them all. No, wait. I, I can have a dream. I can wear stilts and be the tallest man alive. <laughs> yes. So, I don't um, need your help. I don't need you losers. I'm not a loser. You're a loser. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Void. Here there's no plans, there's no worries, there's no cares, man. You can be whoever you want to be. I want to own the void. void. Nope, you can't do that. <laughs> I already own it. You can't bully me. I, I, I am Brian with an I. I will be tall, I will be huge, I will get a girlfriend. Yes. You will date me right now. Okay. Marry me. Okay. And together we shall. We can't be in the great void anymore. We have a plan now. <laughs> oh, thanks for saving our seats, Mal. I won't give up this chair. Okay. <laughs> Brian with an eye. All right, and class. I decked a trombone player. His I will be teaching this class. <laughs> All right, class. I decked a trombone player. I'm gonna wait here. Got his jaw wired shut. A little strap for cash. So I'm gonna sell one of your chairs. You volunteer. You volunteer. You. No. All right, you guys do. I taught you well. No! <laughs> I think you're bluffing! <laughs> what do you want this time, Brian? Third time this week. So, Mr. Counselor, I tried to work on my confidence. I tried... To... Uh, well, let me cut you off there. You do any sports? I... I didn't think so. No, no, I, I, I'm in a band. Does that count? <laughs> Band! Ask him. He knows. It's jazz. It's a jazz band. I play. I play jazz in the spring. And now, the, ah, before you ask, <laughs> that hurts me. Ouch! I called your father in to do that for you. Now, how do you? How does that make you feel? I'm bleeding out. Good. <laughs> That's what stress does for you, kid. You're learning. No. Right. Hey, hey, you stay with me now. I can't. You won't give up on me. You can be tall, you just gotta give it time. But all right. I've lost almost all my blood. Fine, Brian. <laughs> be a wimp. I'll patch it up for you. Thank you, Doctor. Guidance counselor. <laughs> I had to patch him up. Can you do another one? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> 
so um, I bought this iPad, huh? and when I got it out of the box, hmm? like I just took it out of the box, and it was like this. Huh, that's broken in half. Yeah, like you guys sold it to me that way. Okay, um, uh, did you read the back of the box? Yeah. It says, you know, it's kind of supposed to look like that. All right, look, we can't give your money back. We already spent it. But like, can I get a new one? No. But, okay, so like when I'm, I have a receipt? Hold that thought. Let me get my iPad out. Okay, keep going. Can I have your iPad? What makes you think that idea? Well, I, I was <laughs> talking about getting a new one, and then you took one out like you were taunting me with yours, because mine's busted. Hold, hold that thought. Let me get my other iPad. Uh, and I'll, also, you have two, and your second one just broke. I heard it shatter. See, it's supposed to look like it's in half. Please. See? I know what you're saying about the iPad, like Sorry, nobody ever lets me have a chair, and, like I thought that maybe you'd be able to relate to me there. No, our problems are very different. <laughs> but like, you guys always sit in chairs and taunt me, and like, I'm lucky to be sitting in a chair right now. I just, I'm going to stop you right here. I know you're in love with me. <laughs> destroyed the entire school, killing everybody except Brian. Brian continued to grow a foot taller, then went to Purdue. I went to hell and could still, still continue to punch people there. Show me that! <laughs> hey, Teach, how's it going? Hey, it's shit. a great boy! Also known as hell! <laughs> Did someone really fill their fill your car with 
jelly beans? Is that what I heard? Filled your car with jelly beans. That's freaking sweet. Your suggestion, our suggestion is jelly beans. <laughs> okay, so back when I was a kid, uh, my favorite candy to pull on people was a, like, they're Harry Potter jelly beans. Now, there objection, were a bunch of... Objection. I, I've never heard of someone pulling candy on people. <laughs> All right, so I saw, I, I, I have stumbled upon. Do you guys have stumbled upon? Yeah. The magic internet button that you push and websites come up for hours. And the thing that I saw, it was a, like a five pound gummy bear. The thing is like a foot tall, and it weighs five pounds, and it is gummy, you can eat it. And there's a video of Objection, if it's gummy, you can obviously eat it. You don't have to state that. <laughs> there are many kinds of gummy things that you don't want to eat every single one. Jellyfish? I don't want to eat a jellyfish. I'll die. Said, <laughs> Objection, she said gummy, not jelly. Ah. <laughs> so I don't think there's a single food product ever made that has uh, such a far reach between how much work is put into it and how fucking disgusting it is as jelly beans. Jelly beans Objection, are awful. Jelly beans are awesome! <laughs> jelly beans are Objection, audience, are you kidding? <laughs> jelly beans! <laughs> Alright, so last Easter, I had a bunch of friends over uh, to watch this uh, movie, and I got really embarrassed because the movie was not what I thought it was. Um, it was a documentary a co-worker son made. Um, it ended up being pretty cool, but uh, so I hid a bunch of Easter eggs around my house filled with gummy bears. And, um, Objection! We're talking about jelly beans! Yeah! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you another Easter story. Um, my parents, when my brother and I were little, you met my brother earlier. When he Objection! And I were little, Your what? parents are dead. What? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.